Now at 530, spring is here and so are the allergies. After a record setting snowfall, there's some good and bad news for allergy sufferers. And experts say this season will be shorter. However, it will be more intense because of the wet winter we've had. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has the details that are new at 530 tonight. It's a cool day here on the East Bay bike path and it's this cool recent weather which could have a big impact on the upcoming allergy season. Your allergy induced sneezes and sniffles may be running on a delayed schedule this spring, but as is the case with many weather stories, there is usually a trade off. It may shorten the season, but that means the season will be more intense. Dr. Robert Setapane, specialist at the East Providence branch of the Allergy and Asthma Center, says allergy season will likely really get going the first week of April, which is about a week later than normal. That's because trees like maple and birch may take a little longer to wake up. I think the trees are staying dormant until it just warms up a little bit. They're paying attention to the daylight, but the coldness puts a clamp on them. But once that clamp is released, Cetapain cautions that symptoms could actually be a little worse than normal during April and May. These symptoms include a runny nose and itchy and watery eyes. Especially at risk will be allergy sufferers who spend a lot of time outdoors. Some of these kids, particularly these kids playing baseball out there who've got tree pollen allergies, some of them, their eyes will swell shut. So what do you do if you tend to suffer from spring allergies? Cetapain stresses prevention is key. It's much easier to stop the symptoms before they start and get out of control. Preventive prescription medications include eye drops, shots, cortisone nose sprays, but that's not all. Antihistamine nose sprays, antihistamine pills, and then the anti-leukotriene pills. Dr. Cetapain says you should talk to your doctor for more specifics on what medications might be right for you. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.